Here is a test problem for you. I'll appreciate if you could see at the graph, pause the video, and write down the equation of this quartic polynomial. It is a transformed quartic polynomial. So, once you've written the equation, then look into my suggestion. Right? Here is my suggestion. As we see, it is a quartic polynomial. It is given to us. And we could write this transformed equation in the form of g of x equals to a times the function k x minus t plus c. So that is a general transform form, right? So let's try to find out what is a, k, d, and c from this particular graph. Now, as you can see here, the vertex of this quartic polynomial has shifted from origin to two units to the right. That means d is 2 for us and 1, 2, 3 down, so c is minus 3 for us. Now, k is horizontal stretch or reflection. The point normally used to be at 1, 1, but instead of being at 1, it is 1, 2, 3 units away. So 3 units away means it has been stretched horizontally by a factor of 3. So that means k should be 1 over 3. Now, vertical stretch or compression. So we are expecting this point 1 unit on the right, but instead it is 2. So therefore, A is 2 for us. Now, shape of the graph is same, of course, and it is from coordinate 2 to 1. So there is no reflection in this case, right? So that becomes the equation of this given transform function. And so we can write this function as g of x equals to 2 times, and the function here is to the power of 4 k value is 1 over 3 and we have x minus 2 minus 3 so that becomes our equation right? it's a good idea to test few points so we can test this point which is at 1 2 3 4 5 so let's find what is g of 5 g of 5 should be 2 according to our equation right 5 minus 2 to the power of 4 minus 3 so that gives us 2 5 minus 2 is 3. 3 divided by 3 is 1. 1 to the power of 4 is 1. Minus 3, that gives us a value of minus 1. Now we know g of 5 equals to minus 1 from the graph also. That it verifies. And therefore, we are sure about our answer. And so our answer is that the transform function for this quartic polynomial is indeed 2 times 1 over 3 x minus 2 to the power of 4 minus 3. So that is how you can quickly get the equation of the quartic polynomial. Thank you.